welcome back. I hope everybody had a great week, weekend, and is also having a great day as always. It was a very, very special past week and weekend, and of course, it's a very special day as well. I want to give a special thank you to all the United States Armed Forces Defense Agencies, civilians that are supporting this mission as we speak. Without all of you guys, we would not be here. And if you guys ever get a chance, doesn't matter what day of the week it is, a simple thank you to anybody within these agencies, defense contracts, or United States Armed Forces. It means an awful lot. You don't have to wait for a holiday to come up. Just a simple thank you. It goes a long way. And I've been waiting a long time to be saying this. President Trump, welcome back to being president and commander in chief. It's a freaking honor. And for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Jeff, and this is where I share my random passions with you guys. If anybody knows me personally, they know that I'm pretty random, but at the same time, I'm very calculated with my finances, hence the name of the channel. I have a American-made 2020 Shelby GT500 right behind me if you'd like to see that on the channel. I also have a new addition to my watch collection, and that is the Omega Speedmaster Sandwich Man on the Moon. This is a very, very special watch review coming soon. And today we're going to be talking about the CZ Shadow 2 Compact. This is going to be a full review and we're going to talk about my first mag impressions. If you guys would like to see the complete breakdown and unboxing, I'll put a link right up here. And per YouTube's guidance, I have to disclose that I am not receiving any kind of financial gain or influence from any of the brands on this channel. All firearms have been purchased by myself, including the ammo. So all these reviews are my opinion and my opinion only. Like many of you, I first started off shooting Glocks. The Lego of all guns as we know it today. This is a Glock 45 MOS and this is my current CCW. And the question is, is the CZ Shadow 2 Compact going to replace my current CCW? Well, that's what we're here to find out. But let's discuss what got me to this point. My uh, first experience shooting a full-size gun and separating myself from the Glock was the TP9 SFX by Canik. $450 roughly and about 6,000 plus rounds and this gun is still shooting absolutely phenomenal. So this is a single action. I remember when I first bought this gun, I was like, okay, this is absolutely amazing. Let me try something else in a competition series. Uh, I worked my way to a full size Shadow 2 Orange and I was like, my God. But again, this is a double single in the Orange variant. I said, this gun is absolutely amazing. And then I found my way to this beauty, which is the Tactical Sport 2 in green, competition by CZ. And my Lord, uh, this has got to be one of the best guns I've ever shot as far as a competition variant with a 1.8 pound trigger. I mean, guys, let me know what you think if you've ever shot this gun, or what your opinions are. Unfortunately, these are discontinued. And then from there, I've worked my way all over as far as different brands, different styles, and it all came back to, I want to shoot a double single action. What did I think of? Of course, I went back to CZ. So here we are, this platform is roughly the same length as per se a Glock 19, in this case, the Glock 45 MOS, right? So I'm trying to find something this size, maybe slightly smaller to conceal carry. I have tried numerous other brands and numerous other variances of guns to conceal carry. And I'm always kind of curious which one works best for me. Uh, that's a pretty common theme. I, I think everybody should think outside the box and see what works best for them as well. But working our way back to this, I did not want a full size lower. I wanted something in the Glock 19 size, but I wanted something with a better trigger and I wanted something in a double single. Hence, here we are. Having said that, all the gun footage uh, during this review was at my favorite place, Del Marva Clay in Shooting Range. And if you've been on this channel for a while, you know that that is primarily where I shoot at. Uh, we're shooting anywhere from 15 feet and working our way back to 25 feet. Two things that kind of caught me off guard uh, while shooting the CZ Shatter 2 Compact. One was expected and one was not. Was not. Um, having said that, it was not really that big of a deal. First thing was the placement of my thumb while I was shooting. I like to get a very high purchase as you should. And I like driving them, my thumbs forward. And if you can see, it was hitting right there. 
Is that a big deal? No, I just rolled my thumb up a little more, still having a high purchase and good control while I was shooting, and problem was resolved. The second thing, if you like to shoot in a double action uh, as far as this pistol, and this I already knew, it does not have a decocker. I really, really wish it did, but it does not. Um, I don't like being in a position where if I'm going to shoot, um, you're gonna have to rack it, it's gonna be in single action, and then you're gonna have to safely bring the trigger down, and you can put it in the first stage, or you can put it all the way forward, it's up to you, and now you can shoot it in a double action. And of course, you have a safety option. Um, I would read the manual because it is a little misleading as far as using a safety and when, uh, but that's something for you to be aware of. But again, I wish it had a decocker. Is that a big deal? Absolutely not. Um, primarily, I will be shooting in single action and I'll be carrying in single action. I may decock it manually down to the first stage. Um, may not. I have not decided yet. Guys, let me know what you think. Anyway, those are the two things that kind of caught me off guard while I was shooting. But other than that, uh, this gun shot absolutely flawless. So roughly 600 rounds shooting 115 grain and also self-defense rounds mixed in there and um, no problems, no problems whatsoever. The gun was shooting extremely flat. Um, it did take me a little while to pick up the front optic at 25 feet. I was shooting various guns uh, throughout the day. So going from, God, let me tell you, Going from something like the CZ Tactical Sport 2 in green with a 1.8 pound trigger and then jumping directly to something like this, a Shatter 2 Compact with a double single with a heavy pull, yeah, it's going to throw you off a little but it's not really that big of a deal. It just, it just comes down to training. But um, as expected with CZ in general, the gun shot flawless. Very flat. I was very surprised. Most compacts are going to be a little bit more snappier which is not a huge deal with nine millimeter because they don't really have a whole lot of recoil anyway. But realigning back to sight, it was very, very easy. Now, again, this is gonna come down to training as far as an individual. Um, but for me, it shot very, very well. Will it be my CCW? I wanna go with yes, but we still got about 400 rounds to go. So in one sitting, we did about 600. I like to get to a thousand rounds and hopefully with no jams, and be comfortable before I decide to carry any of my firearms. I do have an option on here to put a RMR, but I will not. I love the fundamentals. Uh, I mean, I'm a huge believer in fundamentals of shooting with iron sights with the option of shooting with a red dot. Can I? Absolutely. We'll, we'll see the review on this a little bit later with an M18X, and I believe this is their M17 as far as a red dot. And it was not hard at all to pick up the red dot, but personal preference for myself um, I just choose not to carry uh, with the red dot. So, as far as uh, first and mag impressions so far, gun feel is very light compared to what I'm used to. Again, the Glock 45 MOS, uh, fully loaded. They're actually pretty, they might be similar in uh, weight, but it's very thin, it feels very good in hand. It just feels better overall. I shoot both these guns very well, but there is no comparison between a trigger feel on this. Again, it is different from a single action to a double action, but this gun feels absolutely amazing. I'm very, very excited to, uh, to start concealed carrying this. So holsters inside the waistband, four o'clock position, canted. What is your thoughts as far as holsters and lights? Um, I do have some ideas, but I'm just not completely sold yet. So give me your thoughts as far as that. Um, as far as picking up the front sight um, for me, it was very easy again with the blacked out rear it makes it a lot easier as well so if you're wondering about that but uh, it's a short and sweet review really to be honest with you no jams whatsoever 600 rounds straight through i shot absolutely phenomenal so guys thank you so much for checking out this upload let me know your thoughts on any of these firearms if you own any of these um how they're coming along so far and again if you are concealed carrying the uh, CZ Shatter 2 Compact, how is it coming along? Which holster did you choose and which light? But um, I will keep you guys updated. We will see uh, how this goes and hopefully this will be my CCW very soon. So like, share, subscribe. You guys have a great day and I'll see you at the next upload. Mm -hmm.